In my relationship seminars, I often say for people to be vulnerable to each other. And that is something in today's society that we don't like to be. We think that that is a sign of weakness. Actually, my friend, it is a sign of strength. It is a sign that you're so strong inside of yourself that you're willing to let your defenses go down. I pray this weekend that you're an open person, that you're at least striving and at least walking in that direction, in the direction of honesty, in the direction of a new kind of communication with your family and your friends. Well, what does it mean to be an open person? I'm sure the question could be answered in many, many ways, but for a moment, let's think of it as the terms of this. To be open to the experiences of life now that you now have, and also to be open to new experiences and be open to all that that goes on around us. So often, I see people that are closing down to the things that are happening. I've had people brag to me that they've never used email, that they've never uh, operated a computer. Now, I'm not preaching. I was that way one time, too. I didn't dislike computers. I hated computers, and I, I refused to have one in my office. <laughs> and that was up till 1998. And then God had a a bigger plan. You have to be open especially to God. You have to be willing to allow God to come through you and give you ideas. So often the big area that we're closed down to is God. We want it our way and only our way and if it doesn't come our way then we refuse, then we're closed, then we're uh, closed off and, and we're the ones that are imprisoning ourselves. It's not the other way around. It's not God uh, uh, denying us our good. We are denying our own good. Now, this being open does not mean that every day should be lived as a confessional where we reveal our every inner feeling. But it does mean that there are feelings and there are emotions that need not be kept secret. Being open to our real feelings and our, our feelings that, that should be shared is an important thing to real relationships. You know, I've said before, relationship is a relating ship. It's how you relate to another person and how they relate to you. And no one can if we're not open, if we're closed down, if we're behind a locked door. And being open to the feelings of others, it adds another dimension to life that is so high that it cannot be described in just a, a few minutes on this video. It lifts us to a new plane of honesty and of courage. God bless you.